in this module we shall explore and learn through a simple use case what is simulation and what are modeling and simulation terminologies please recall the basic definition of simulation that it is a piece of computer software that implements algorithms it takes inputs and gives outputs here you can see that it is a one hop communication network with four wireless computers connected to each other in the form of a star topology through a wireless access point we are interested in looking at the different aspects of its simulation to go further into the details of terminologies let's have a look at this figure we have inputs which are modeled and fed into the computer software which runs algorithms and routines it is the simulator that performs the simulations on the basis of specific inputs different outputs can be simulated now in order to understand different kinds of inputs with respect to the communication scenario that we looked at the first important parameter is the signal itself the signal is represented in different notations here it is represented in decibels the signal power has a direct relationship with the power which is received on the receiving side of the transmission channel corresponding bit error rate and packet error rate another important parameter that we need to simulate as an input is the waveform type if it is an analog signal it would have different implications on the bit error rate and the packet error rate likewise digital signals provide more noise resilience similarly the forward error correction strategy that we want to implement and simulate in our network scenario an example is the hamming code which will have direct impact on the retransmission cost besides the bit error rate and the packet error rate performance the retransmission protocol which necessitates that either of the two strategies such as automatic repeat request such as go back n or selective repeat are triggered these two will have a direct impact on the overall throughput resulting good port and the latency the channel model the model that we assume forms the underlying basis for the simulations these could include the additive white gaussian noise channel relay or reshin channel these also will have impact on the overall performance of the simulation and the results the mobility model dear students if you look at the performance of a communication channel that involves moving entities such as the wireless computers in this scenario it is important to consider that either we go for well known random waypoint mobility model or temporally dependent gauss markov mobility model these two will have a direct implication on the data link layer the logical link control sub layer and the ip routing layers and lastly the traffic model that we assume we could assume a poisson arrival or any other kind of self similar traffic this will result into the overall effect on the offered load that enters into the wireless access point and the resultant queuing behavior 